You may soon get a call from your doctor, get this, over your shopping habits. Some hospitals are starting to use consumer data to identify those most likely to get sick. The goal is for doctors to reach out before there's a big health issue. So let's bring in Bloomberg News health reporter Shannon Pettypiece. She is here. Shannon, A, this sounds creepy, and B, it doesn't even sound believable, because when I actually have health problems, issues, I can't even get my doctor to call me back. Right. <laughs> Never get a phone call. Well, that's changing, because under Obamacare, they really want to keep you healthy now, because they now don't get paid for how many tests or services they do. They get paid by keeping you healthy. So that's part of the reason why they're so interested in this consumer data. And what they're looking at is the type of stuff that Amazon and Target and these big retailers have been looking at for years to market products to you. They're talking about things like credit card transactions, things you buy with a store loyalty card, um, what type of vehicle you own, do you own a motorcycle, how much did you pay for your house. All of this information hospitals are now getting, they're plugging into these complex algorithms and trying to use that, those details to predict who's likely to get sick, who's at risk of showing up at the emergency room, and then getting to you first to prevent that. Who's going to get hit by a truck. Yes. Right? Uh, you know, I, I, I have to say that I have a huge problem with the kind of big brother approach and people watching and it's none of their business, but I p would personally give up that kind of data to my doctor at the drop of a hat because I want to be kept healthy, right? Although I'm not going to stop riding motorcycles. Um, do people, can then, people then, opt by out the of way, these things? Hold on, yeah. then you don't actually want to be healthy because that's a death mission. <laughs> <laughs> just, just so you, you know. As you may have just found so, out yourself. You know, exactly. <laughs> but but yeah. for someone, if a doctor knew a patient, uh, you know, rode motorcycles and enjoy, enjoyed motorcycle racing, you know, next time they see you, they could say, you know, Matt, I just want to make sure you're always wearing a helmet when you ride your bike. You know, motorcycle accidents, I see a lot of them in the ER. And they could say, you could say, okay, you know, yeah, I should remember that. But just walk me through, how is a doctor going to get compensated for making all of those, you know, preventative calls. So how does it work? Well, so the, the doctors and hospitals want to keep you healthy because now uh, hospitals get penalized if people show up at the emergency room too often. Hospitals get penalized if they do poorly on sort of quality outcomes, if they're not managing their patients' um, blood pressure correctly, and they're getting penalized by Medicare, which pays for all the insurance for people over 65 and is the main payer to hospitals. So if you're someone who is coming back with your blood sugar out of control, your blood pressure out of control, if you're showing up at the emergency emergency room uh, because you're in diabetic shock. That's now costing hospitals money. So if a hospital can look at your spending data and say, I know this person's a diabetic, but it shows that they use their credit card at Dunkin' Donuts every morning. It shows they buy a lot of junk food at CVS, and we can track that with their credit card and their loyalty card purchases. Okay, that is so super freaky. we need to give this person a call. And, you know, the, right, it is totally freaky, And but the information is out there and being collected on us already. It's just being used for marketing rather than health care. Um, and I should say that this is all still sort of in the very early stages. I um, would hope so. Yes, we're all still in the very early stages. If you have not been getting a call about, like, the four martinis you had last Last night yet. I don't want them to know what want. I'm watching, what I'm buying, what I'm eating, where I'm going. You wouldn't what want your that? doctor and to know that? You wouldn't want your personal GP to know that information? I mean, I don't want anyone I, to know that but my doctor. I want my doctor to know it if I'm sharing said information. Yeah. Right. And, and I should say, the main hospital chain implementing this is called Carolina's Healthcare System. Uh, they're considering an opt-out mechanism where you could say, do, where it would address the exact situation. Matt wants that information. Stephanie doesn't. All right, not, a lot of people don't private. tell their doctors everything. A lot of people lie about smoking is a big one.